what up Razer, it's Sharon here and welcome back to yet another league racing video and as always on a Tuesday it's time for F1 Racing League. Now I've decided to join Apex Online Racing again and that should start in two weeks time so expect to see some videos from that league um, when the league gets started essentially. Now if you didn't see the previous video it was a very strange league race like Driving standards were horrible, but the result, as you can see now, was insane. As you can see, moved up to ninth in the standings, and we got the win in Austria last time round. So I was very, very pleased with that. You can see Jeroen still leading the championship, and the next closest Just driver to him is Chihilu, um, in terms of the people who are still driving. Uh, Yannick didn't participate in this race, so he can't score any points, obviously. Now, I qualified uh, P10 after my first run with a 26.7. PB around here is 0.2, I believe, so it's nothing insane. But there's definitely plenty of room for improvement, and let's see if I can find it. Could have optimized the entry into the right-hander a little bit more, but coming out of the left-hander, you can see optimizing the track very well, getting good traction, and we're heading down into Brooklands and Lafield break just after the 50 in fact this was I, mean, I don't think I trail braked perfectly there so that's why I missed the apex of the left hander a little bit then to try and get on the power as early as possible I think I did that relatively well maybe not enough quite enough commitment but it's nothing it's not too bad that's what I'm trying to say cops corner missed the apex a little bit so scrub off some speed and you can see I'm exactly equal with my previous delta but I have to say, I messed up the final sector on my last lap. So there should be plenty of time there as we go through Megaton Beckets. Get quite a good exit onto the hangar straight. And we're about half tent up. So heading into Stow. Could have optimized the track on the left hand side a little bit more still. Exit is quite good. Then braking for Club and Vale. And I think I'm doing this section pretty well here actually. Short shifting to fifth to get the power down. And overall it's a relatively tidy lap. Nothing special. But it's good enough for 26.5. Which puts me in P9. Now you might think P9 is a horrible position. But in my opinion you need to be in the top 10 around this track. It's very difficult when you go on the alternative strategy. And try to make your field through what will most likely be a DRS train. So even if I had qualified P11 or P12 I think I would have opted to start on the softs. Now as you can see we're heading into the race now. Samba with the pole position, Jeroen in second, Rom in third, then in front of me it's Zack in P7, Chilu to the right, Terra Racer in P10 and Tees the first medium runner in P11. And we're getting quite a good start here, immediately getting ahead of Chilu. So good start for me there. Then what's the Ferrari of Zack gonna do? He stays in the middle of the track so We'll try it round the outside, which then turns into the inside for the left-hander. You can see Ginger getting forced out a little bit there. Can't quite make it work on Zach. But you can see Hannes cutting back onto the track in his Mercedes car, and he's round. So that's another position for us, as Khalifa and Ginger are fighting now. As I run a little bit wide once again, just like I did on my qualifying lap. So Terror is having a little look around my outside, but he's nowhere far enough alongside to try anything spectacular you can see Zach putting on a bit of pressure on Ginger but he wasn't able to get past then we're heading on to second lap now Ginger breaking really late and actually hitting the back of Khalifa but that backfired on him because he got a horrible exit that way and Zach thankfully makes use of that opportunity and he moves up into P5 meanwhile we've obviously gained two positions as well and we're up to P7 in this race so quite a good start, but you can see Finlay retired from the session okay, slow down, slow down. and that means your we have our first negative, safety car, or in fact it's a virtual pace. safety car. So safety car we're coming to the safety car ending here ASC and ending. it's quite an awkward point here, you don't want to go over the limit with the Delta. But Ginger was quite slow there and I also left a little bit of a gap. So. Terror Racer immediately goes down the inside and we're side by side heading onto this straight. Now fortunately Ginger decides to stay on the right hand side so he gives me a bit of a slipstream. 
kept on the battery for quite a while. We're still side by side. But once again, I have the insight for this right-hander. Got better rotation in my car than Terror Racer. And do manage to hold on to 7th place in the race for now. So let's try and settle into a rhythm. And basically wait for a safety car period while settling into a rhythm, I say. Running a bit wide there at the cops. Got some massive understeer there. And overall, I don't think I was very happy with my setup at all. Felt like I was having to turn a bit too much um, around the fast hand or the fast corners. So it was a bit of a struggle, but overall I do manage to keep it clean for now. And riding on to lap 5 now, 6 tenths behind FRL Ginger, but then corner cutting the first part of Maggots and Beckett. And that's already a 3 second time penalty and... I did a Perez. Yikes. And another sort of half spin as well. In the gravel. And well, as you can imagine, this obviously unraveled the race quite a bit. Decided to just immediately come in. But looking back at this, it was relatively painful. Damage to the rear wing. You have damage to your rear wing. No tie concerns at the moment. Just focus on the driving. Rear wing damage as well, but as I was saying, I was hoping to have a good race here, and yeah, I just made a massive mistake. Nothing else to really say to that. So, you can see now we're already skipped on to lap 20. Um, even with that rear wing damage, I managed to sort of do the same pace as Hannah's, and I think I lost about two or three seconds maybe throughout a period of 15 laps to him. And at that point, Carl Scarrett caught up to him on his fresh softs and he just pulled Hannes along. So, I wasn't really fighting for anything anyways. So, I just decided to come in for a pit stop, put on a fresh set of softs and at least steal the fastest lap away. And that's exactly what I've managed to do here. 27.5. And, yeah, there's really no chance of a safety car anymore when the leader's already into lap 24. So... I just thought, well, let's just retire from the race and let's just do a little bit of spectating. There's no way four people are going to crash out and going to score any points. So I may as well retire right now and have a little look at what's happening at the front. So you can see Jeroen Endron managed to pass Samba. Um, Zach up to P5, Terror into P6. That's where I would have been if I hadn't crashed out. Well... That's where I would have been. Would have, of course, still had to make the right strategy calls and um, kept it on track, which I obviously didn't do. But still, I feel like I could have scored some really good points here. Now, you can see, having uh, there's a fight between Zack and Ginger. Ginger actually trying to still go around the outside here, but it was not enough to force any space, and he stays in P5. But there you can see, on the right hand side, a Ferrari is out of the race, it's ERT Samba, and oddly enough, he thought it was the last lap of the race, um, which it wasn't, so I'm not sure why, why he just decided to slow down like that, but I don't know. Really interesting, but also a bit of a weird way to lose th uh, third place in the race. Meanwhile, we're catching up to the lead of the race, it's Jeroen and Ron. Going side by side, Jeroen defending the inside, but Ron managed to pull it around the outside. He has now the inside for Vale, and Jeroen trying a double switchback, but it's not enough. So the Red Bull driver wins the race. Jeroen is second. Terror got third in the end by keeping it clean, having no penalties. And well, I'm j I was just a little bit disappointed with myself and how this race went. So. I think I'm sort of at the same period as like three or four months ago where I was just driving too aggressively, going for two aggressive setups. So I think I'll just make sure I get some more stable setups and just focus on finishing the race. Anyways, hopefully I can do better next time and see you for the next video. Bye bye.